Hi everyone, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smitha. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a step-by-step -step tutorial. It's very in-depth on achieving a flawless Indian bridal eye makeup look and keeping it long-lasting through all those tears and sweat and getting maximum pigment payoff. So if you're ready for this tutorial, let's begin. Always start by hydrating the skin around your eyes because it can get pretty dry. I'm using the Silk Peony by Tatcha. This suits normal dry combination and oily skin types, basically all skin types. Eye creams are not just used for hydration like a moisturizer. They also fill in all those fine lines around your eyes and they also add brightness. So your eyes, especially if they're tired, they instantly start looking brighter, more radiant and more youthful. While that's settling in and getting absorbed in the skin, Let's start with the brows. I'm going to be using a brow pomade today. This one's from Ofra in the shade Kaki. The reason I'm using a pomade today is for one, it's waterproof and smudge proof. So it's long lasting. And second, it's very pigmented. I love using pomades on brides, especially if you have fine hair on your brows. And to double secure my brows and to keep it in shape, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Brow Gel. This is a clear brow gel, so it's not going to add any extra color to my brows. You don't have to do this if you're using a waterproof pomade, but this just gives that double protection. To clean up underneath my brows and as a base on my lids, I'm going to be using the Milani Concealer in the shade 145. You can either use a concealer or an eyeshadow base. Primers on your lid not only help to cling on to the eyeshadow, giving you more pigment payoff, but they also make the eyeshadow long lasting. I personally like concealers because they cancel out the redness on the lids and even out the skin tone. I'm going to lightly set this with powder to prevent it from creasing. I'm using airspun. You can use any powder, but try to use something that's mild without much perfumes or scents to it because sometimes that can react with your eyes and your eyes can get watery. I'm using a sticky tape in the corners because I'm going for a pretty dramatic look today and I'm leaving a small gap in my lower lash line so when I do my lower lash line there is continuity I can join the eyeshadow from the lower lash line to my lid. To get great pigment payoff you have to use really good quality eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Volume 2. You don't have to use the same palette, but whatever palette you're using, make sure the quality is fabulous, especially on your big day. I'm going to dip into this beautiful crimson shade called Live In My Best with the Sigma E40 Blending Brush. I'm going to blend this out at the crease and I've just dipped it once and you can see when I talk about quality and pigment payoff, that's what I'm talking about. It is so pigmented. And just keep in mind, anytime an eyeshadow is pigmented, it looks very messy in the beginning because you all of a sudden feel like there's so much color on your lids, but keep blending it out and at the end, everything will be perfect and it'll look beautiful. To deepen the crease further, I'm dipping into a very deep crimson shade. This is called Crazy. With a smaller blending brush, I'm going to focus this right at the crease and I'm not going to blend it out as much as I did with the first shade. Again, don't take too much eyeshadow at a time. Keep adding as much as you want till you're happy with the intensity. I decided I wanted to deepen the crease just a tad bit further so I'm very lightly dipping into the black eyeshadow this is called temptress with a very small pointy blending brush by morphe and I'm going to focus this right at the crease and I'm not even going to be blending out too much now we have everything about the lid taken care of so it's time to cut the crease but before I cut the crease I like to clean up the lid space and start with a clean canvas and for that I'm using the micellar cleanser 
cleansing water with a q-tip i'm just going to dip it in and clean it up if you don't have cleansing waters you can also use just regular water and then again now i'm using the concealer to cut my crease and paint my lid with the same concealer i'm using the milani concealer in the shade 145 very lightly setting it with the airspun powder before i move on to the next step and right on top of this i'm going to be using a liquid glitter by pixie this is the fairy lights and this was a collab with Maryam. this is a rose gold glitter and has specks of pinks and silver to it so it's very pretty in person i'm not sure how much the camera catches but we'll apply it directly over the concealer if you especially have sensitive or watery eyes where you apply a powder eye shadow, it gets into your eyes and bothers you, try using a quick setting, either liquid glitter or a liquid eye shadow, which sets very quickly. And even if your eyes are watering or sensitive, it's not going to come off. Because this set so quickly, I'm going to soften the edges with my finger before it dries up. And then I'm going to dip into Live In My Best with a blending brush. I'm going to blend out the edges. And then I'm going to lightly deepen it with Crazy. Then I'm going to deepen it further with the black eyeshadow. Pretty much the same combination that we used at the crease. I'm using it in the outer corner. I'm going to remove the tape and clean up underneath before I move on to the lower lash line. First, I'm going to dip into Crazy and I'm going to smoke it throughout my lower lash line with a small, dense, flat shader brush. And because I left that small gap when I was sticking the tape at the very beginning, you can see that there's continuity from my lower lash line to the top lash line. I'm going to next tight line using a waterproof smudge proof eyeliner in black. This one's from Revlon. I've listed all the products information in the description box below. And for eyeliner, again, I'm using a waterproof and a smudge proof one. This is the Inglot gel liner in black, one of the best out there. And if you're looking for a good quality drugstore product, then my go to my personal favorite is the Maybelline gel liner. And to apply this, I'm using this pointed fine eyeliner brush. This one's from Juno, again, my favorite one. So I'm going to be applying the eyeliner as usual. Uh, with a wing in the outer corner and I'm also going to extend the wing in the inner corner so it gives me that elongated eye look. Here's the trick that I've always followed and my eyeliner never smudges especially in the lower lash line. I take a little bit of black eyeshadow with this flat definer brush. This one's from Hip Dot. I stamp the eyeshadow at the very outer part of my waterline. I don't take it all the way in. Just like you set your concealers with powder, when you set your eyeliner with a black eyeshadow, it doesn't move. And I'm also going to use the black eyeshadow in my lower lash line. To highlight my brow bones, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Illuminator. You can use any highlighter that you have. I'm going to finish up with some mascara and lashes, but before that, I'm going to curl my lashes. And for mascara, again, I'm going with a waterproof one. This is Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. And for lashes, I'm going with the Tati Lashes in TL2.
and here's the finished look it's a smudge proof waterproof that makes it bulletproof eye makeup for your big day i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if you want to watch more videos like these if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me that big fat thumbs up and if you're new here please take a moment to subscribe i post new videos every tuesdays thursdays and sundays and i promise you you will not be disappointed do check out the description box for all the product information as well as my social media accounts if you plan to recreate this look please don't forget to tag me i love you guys so much and i will see you soon with a brand new one bye guys